you think that you're an easy person to work with, or you think that? Oh yeah, yeah. Be the plug. I don't be doing. I just be chilling. <laughs> I see. I don't know that side of you or how you are to work with, but you are the brother of someone who, as much as he's a legend, definitely not the easiest person to work with. Oh yeah, he don't. <laughs> You got to remember, I was doing the talking for him. Like, mm, he didn't okay. really, he don't talk to me, don't care about it. Mm. Like, I'm more on the business side of shit. Like, I kind of, like, know what's going on. Like, but not really know what's going on. But I know enough to hold a a, a business conversation of, about music. Mm. Like, without it being weird or nobody feeling like they're getting finessed. Right. That's good, yeah, because that was definitely, you know, Draco was just, like, we started to see him networking more and socializing and being in the club and all that type of shit more, like, later in his life, but for sure, like, you know, networking is a huge part of becoming a, a big sure. rapper, and he just did not give a f he was just, like, the realest person. Yeah, he didn't care about no features, no who popping, he didn't care about none of that. Right. Money, jewelry, and just whips and like, mm -hmm. That's all you really care about. Facts. That's why when we seen like the Saweetie video, it was just like, how did this happen? Yeah, that was pretty. That was a that was a good one. Right you there. know, he wasn't like sliding up in her DMs like, let's do a song. And he was just so regular, just there at the video. She was just chilling, like mm. he wasn't really, like, you know, too yeah. pressed about. Shit. Definitely. So, yeah, I mean, you were talking a little bit about. Uh, keeping the truth alive and everything before, but what, what, uh, like from your perspective, what's the main ways that you go about doing that? Cause I've, I had a lot of people like, you know, talking to uh Jay Diggs the other day about, you know, keeping Mac Dre's legacy alive and like that. And it's kind of like that with Draco where it's like, if you just ignore it, then there's nothing for people to hold on to. Mm -hmm. They're still going to talk about him, but it's going to be more limited. Whereas like, you know, there's so much that you could do to kind of keep his it out there. You see them doing a lot with Nipsey and which yeah. is cool. I try to just keep his name around, just keep talking about him, drop songs every blue moon, f create videos and shit that people have never seen and kind of upload them and shit like that. And then, like, on the 18th, we doing a party for his uh, memorial. Mm. And then just, like, invite certain people to his birthday parties and shit like that, like, certain shit. And then I always put his face on merch. Right. Like, so little like that. Like, Does it make sense to, like, have his own fucking merch just permanently available online and the way they do with Nipsey? We we could do that, but the estate will have to do that. Mm. And the estate, that's still going through its little court situation. So it's not as simple as it just being, like, you working with... I would rather it be the, the estate running it. So if all the money that... If it's, like, a clothing line from... His name, actual name, and mm. benefits off of him. I'd rather it just be like going straight to him, not like it's just some stink team merch. Right, for sure. Um, okay, so uh, the other thing I want to. Oh yeah, so there was a, a OTM Draco song that they put out, and you got it taken down, right? You know, business is business. <laughs> so what was your mentality on that? Because I'm sure that meant a lot to them, and. Uh, Y'all said y'all not stink team. Y'all don't want to, you know. Mm. So business is business, you know. Damn. So you feel like you're really inhabiting this heartless businessman role? Or you just feel you know, like just, they, they're around by even doing that in the first place? Like they, they knew they, you they would probably do knew. that, right? They already knew. They just mm. want the test to see if, like, we already told you. Y'all just want to play internet games, you know. Post it. Complain after you know it's going to get took down and cry. Yeah, is that uh, does that go for everybody out there who got an unreleased no, Drago feature? If, if you got a feature, then get it cleared. Mm. Go through the procedures to get it cleared. You know what I mean? Songs Draco songs I didn't let drop because they got it cleared, and they gonna get it cleared by me. You got to get it cleared by the state. Mm. Are there still like? It's a, it's a decent amount of Draco song. So there's a lot of verses that potentially you know if if Drake said like I want to put a, a Draco verse on my next album, you'd be able to say, like, all right, we got this one, this one, and this one. Like, you're just kind of keeping on opens. ice in case something like that happens. It's a couple opens. The opens I don't touch. Yeah. I only let... Only songs I drop was the songs I got, and then he got features, but certain features I can't drop. So they be wanting certain songs to drop, but I'd be like, man, it's not signed. Ozuma, he's, that's Ozuma. Like, you know what I'm saying? He, 
He got a random Playboy court. He got Tory Lanez versus. He got like certain people. It can get clear, mm-hmm. but certain people it's like, who the hell do I contact to get this clear? Right. But they be wanting those ones. I was like, damn, I can't drop them. It's like, damn. <laughs> Is it true that you made OTM give the chains back? <sighs> <laughs> This nigga had him crazy. I mean, that's just word on the street. Hey, man, I don't do nothing, man. I don't, I don't, I ain't do nothing. I wouldn't be surprised if you're wearing one of them right now. Just secretly flexing on them. Nah, I don't care about those little dudes. No? Come on, I'm in a different, like, fucking watch the chain, like, just small time. So it's not real beef? Like, if you see him, is it weird? I never said it was beef. They just went to the internet and acted like it was like, oh, f*** those dudes. Like, damn, I f*** me. I'm the one gave y'all the shit I basically got. Right. Can't say fuck me. It's like being mad at your daddy. Like, you know what I'm saying? It don't work like that. Right. Damn. So, like, if they were to sincerely apologize, uh, you you wouldn't be willing to just, like, squash it, go back to rapping together and shit? They too big headed. You think? They don't think they did anything wrong. Mm. So that's where it starts. If you don't think you did that wrong, you you feel like it's nothing to apologize about. They think I should be apologizing. Mm. <laughs> Do you think that your behavior was all peaches and cream the whole time, or, or did you get out of in your feelings at a certain point? If you know, you know. Like I don't even. I hardly care about. Shit, so. Mm. If I'm telling you about something, that means it's a reason, you know? For sure. Because Ralphie's just not going around just telling people about themselves. I don't tell grown-ass men about themselves. Mm. I've been in jail. I don't like niggas telling me about myself. 